Jamie, the first session ticked off. You had the lads in there early this morning and getting things going. How's it gone? Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Um, couldn't have went any better. You know, we we done a little bit in the classroom with them before, um, just outlining, you know, our philosophy, identity, what we want the culture to be, and you know where we want to be come the end of the season. Um, players were very receptive, um, engaged really well with it within the room. So we're delighted with that part, and it was an important part of of today. Um, out on the grass, you know, having Lewis, having Andy, having Gav Cogden, their expertise, their knowledge in, in terms of what they bring, um, it was just a pleasure to stand back and watch. Um, but they've all come back at a, a really good base. Um, it was obviously quite intense at times throughout the session, but they've bought fully into it and um, we couldn't ask any more for them for the first day back. Yeah, we spoke a lot last season about you know the work that goes in you know, for the sessions on the training ground and, and that work that transpires into a Saturday afternoon. but. You know, the work that's gone into to that welcome that you did with the players in the classroom this morning, setting the tone and the ethos and, and getting across what this club means to, to the fans and to the people around it. Yeah, it was really important. Um, I think the video that you've done with the supporters and people that work at the club was, was really important for us. It's our fabric. Um, it's a club at the heart of community. Um, everyone I've spoke to who we've brought into the football club, it was one of the first things that I spoke about. You know, the fans pay great money. They follow us everywhere. Um, and they're right behind us all the time um, and spending more to them is everything and I've said to the players you know it has to be everything to them yes there'll be sacrifices that they have to make um, commitments in terms of the travel and things like that but when we come to train and we train like we play when we go into a match day we wear the badge for pride um, you know and we've outlined that to them um, like I said before they were, they were really receptive and um, they've bought into what we're trying to say what we want the culture to be um, and that just doesn't come from from us as a management that has to come from the players as well yeah and they gave that didn't they they came back at you with you know their own ideas yeah and I think that's really important um, you know we've got a little leadership group there that we've spoke to them about today um, but what we've said is you know they're experiencing it they're feeling it sometimes on the training pitch in games their input you know is, is vitally important um, you know they might not always have the final say that will come down to <laughs> us as the management but um, you know their thoughts their opinions is is massive for us we've all got to be pulling in the right direction and that's really important and I think what was really refreshing today was you know the lads that have been with us for a few months now when we started doing them classroom sessions were very quiet and it was very much driven from the management today it was a bit of go between the both and that's going to be really important for us coming together but like I said before they were really receptive to what we want to do um, and they're, they're fully invested in terms of what our goals and objectives are for this year. How pleased are you with the makeup of the squad now it seems to me looking from the outside that it's you know it's got a really good blend of that experience and that, that young fresh hunger that you know you want in the squad. Yeah, um, I think I said it to them in there, you know, everybody's probably at different stages of their career. You know, we've got some really experienced boys in there who are hoping to get one more real, you know, big promotion or, or win, win in the league. And then you've got players who are looking at them sort of players and thinking, I tell you what, you know, I, I want to get promotions on my CV, I'm ambitious, I'm hungry, I, I want to progress within my career. So, you know, they're, they're all at different stages, but that blend is, is vitally important. Um, you know, I feel we've got really good balance within the squad. We've got you know, massive competition for places. We've we've stood after the first session and said, "How do we pick the first 11 <laughs> And that's the first day of pre-season. But that's how we want it. I want them headaches. Um, we want them headaches as a management team. And um, I'm absolutely delighted with the make up this squad. And you know, it's a it's a massive thank you, obviously, to the, the hard work behind the scenes with the chairman, with with Jason, with Luke, um, because we really have assembled a, a very strong squad there. Another one through the door this morning as well. Owen Gallagher put pen to paper. What can you tell us about and how pleased are you to get it done? Yeah, we're delighted. Um, Owen brings, you know, when we talk about experience for his age, he, he brings a lot of experience, football league experience as well, which is really important. Um, spoke to a number of people who've worked with Owen and, you know, attitude, application, his character, that's the first thing I spoke about. And, you know, he ticks all them boxes. From a football point, he'll um, he'll bring a real you know sort of intensity out of possession, but in possession he's, he's light and quick. He likes to play on the shoulder, he likes to be direct and positive, and that's the type of players we want. You know, we want people on the pitch who are fearless and who want to go and create chances and be positive with the ball. And I think he'll be an exciting one for the fans to watch over the next coming weeks.